And today on Live at Four, sentencing for one of the men involved in a drive-by shooting that took the life of a young Milwaukee girl. Five months behind bars, that's the sentence for one of the men convicted for his role in the Layla Peterson murder. And as Ann Sterling reports, family members on both sides of this tragic case shared a moving moment in court. I didn't have a chance in life, and I'm sorry. I really am. From everyone that's involved. An emotional apology from Paul Farr's stepmother. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so and in a spontaneous move, some of Layla Peterson's family stood up and hugged the grieving parent. I'm sorry. I don't want none of this to ever happen anymore. Five year old Layla was shot and killed while she was sitting on her grandfather's lap back in 2014. The little girl was inside of a home near 58th and Fairmont watching TV when a car drove by firing numerous shots. Police say the shooters targeted the wrong house. I want to say sorry to everybody that's involved and anybody that hurt. Paul Farr didn't have a lot to say in court this morning. He was the driver of that car. Prosecutors say he wasn't the shooter but helped the two gunmen get away. Farr struck a plea deal, testifying against one of the shooters, and was sentenced to five months behind bars and five years probation. For this particular defendant, I really believe this was the right resolution, and that's why I advocated for it. Um, his testimony was truthful and very compelling. Um, I think that he faced a great deal of fear, pressure, um, possible intimidation. The two other men convicted in this case, Carl Barrett and Arliss Gordon, both will be sentenced in December. At the Milwaukee County Courthouse, Ann Sterling, today's TMJ4. And as Ann mentioned earlier, Paul Farr will spend five months at the House of Corrections, followed by five years probation.